All right, guys, so here's that other unboxing video that I was telling you guys that I've been waiting to do. So um, basically what I have here is my next chair that I just got done ordering. It's a, uh, it's a DX racer chair. I'm gonna see if I can scoop this in a little bit in the frame for you guys. That way you guys can see everything. So basically, um, these are uh, gaming chairs. They're meant for people who obviously are, you know, in their chairs for eight plus hours a day. They're meant for, um, if you guys see any of the tournaments or anything like that, all the tournament people uh, use these things. It's probably upside down, but it has the DX Racer logo on the side. This is literally the first time I'm opening it. Um, all I did was just cut the, uh, the tape off of it. And I wanted you guys to kind of see if this is something you guys would be interested in as well. But you've got like a little foam pad that they kind of put in just for packing purposes there. And here is the actual backrest of the chair. And of course you guys know my favorite color is green. And oh my gosh, does this thing look amazing. I got it to match my whole setup. You guys know my, my whole entire theme is black and green. And uh, we've got ourselves a black and green chair here now. So there we go. Check that out. I even like the packaging, how it has DX Racer on the packaging. That's pretty cool. Wow, that's actually a uh, pretty fancy chair there, guys. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you. But check that out. There's just the backrest to it. And it's a very, very soft material. Very, very nice. Got the DX Razor. Uh, DX Racer, sorry, I was thinking Razor since that's all my stuff. It's got the uh, DX Racer embroidery right on the back of the head cushion here. Very, very cool stuff. Very, very soft. I like that a lot so far. Obviously, I don't have the chair. I'm not going to put it together on video, so I'm just going to show you guys what's in the box. And then when we come back, I will show you guys it all assembled. So there's that. Looks like we've got a DX Racer pillow that also goes on the top of the headrest, which is pretty cool. So here is a little DX Racer comfy pillow <laughs> that goes on the back of the, uh, the chair for a little headrest for you. I'm assuming the little clip is probably something that you clip in the back here or it's got like a little elastic band on the back that will go around the headrest. So we'll put this back over here. And then we've also got another pillow on the bottom. But this pillow is for the uh, lumbar support. For those of you who don't know what the lumbar support is, that's for the lower part of your back. So whenever you have those achy lower back problems and all that sort of stuff, that's what this is for. It's a very soft and it goes very like right at the base of your back. That way when you're sitting in the chair, that cushion is there to kind of give you that back support that you need when you're sitting. Very, very soft. I like this leather too. Really, really nice leather. Also with the uh, DX Racer uh, embroidery right there on the uh, lumbar support. Another cool feature, here's the, uh, the base of the chair. The base of the chair apparently has, I don't see them on here, maybe I've got to put them on, but this is the base of it. Apparently it's gonna have lime green little rubber stops that go on the bottom of each of these two, which is uh, gonna be pretty cool. So there's the base of the chair there. Got some more packaging. And here, Oh, this is the heavy bottom part of it here. So there is the base of the chair. Look at that. Tell me that is not going to be comfy. Oh my gosh, is that going to be soft? Wow, is that really, really nice. Really nice material. I am very pleased with this chair so far. Very, very pleased with it. <clears throat> I haven't even sat in it yet. 
What else we got here? More packaging foam. And this is probably the little mechanism support, the hydraulic support would be on where you can raise and lower the chair. So let me go ahead and get this thing assembled. And when we come back, I'll show you guys more about it. I will also tell you the style of it, how much it was, and where you guys can get one. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So here is the complete product. By the way, the little stoppers I was telling you guys about right here were in another box. I just missed it when I was unpackaging it, but there they are. Base is an aluminum uh, metal, really, really nice. Pistons all installed there. There's the uh, the base. There's the uh, lumbar support. What I really like about these armrests is that they got a concave to it to where your arms perfectly seat, sit in there. It's pretty nice. I like that a lot. Sorry for just bumping the camera. And then as you scroll up, You've got the back of the chair. These little straps sit right up against the back that go for the, uh, the support. You don't even feel them. Then you've got your head pillow and then the DX racer there. Really, really nice design. It is an extremely, extremely comfortable chair. I mean, it is insanely comfortable. My wife sat in it, Pixie, and she didn't want to get out of it. You've got a little uh, lever here, which Validin likes to call as a Z brake. If you pull this up, it makes the uh, the back rest go forward and back then you've got a little locking which will raise and lower the chair and keep it from rocking currently it's like a rocking chair as well but yeah so this chair is definitely worth its weight in gold i have to say that um it is a phenomenal phenomenal chair i like it a lot and uh i'll kind of let me see if i can click on it for you guys I'm going to actually sit in it, and then right over here, I actually have it set up. There's the pink one that uh, Pixie's looking at. But anyway, so let's close this out, and there you guys go. So there's the chair there. Obviously, that's the pink one, but the one that I picked up was this one here, which is the green one. It is the, uh, the F Series chair right there. And the price on it is $349. Kind of an expensive chair, but it's definitely worth it. I mean, this chair is phenomenal. One of the, the other key features I was gonna tell you guys is right here is very, very firm material. That way when your legs are sitting in it, it's almost like a racing style bucket seat in a race car. It keeps your, uh, your legs and everything right inside here. Very heavy, very durable chair. I love the material. They did a phenomenal job with the packaging. One of the key things I know that a lot of people are going to be like, I don't care about that, but I thought was really neat was the bolts that you needed to connect right to here were already in the chair. They're real heavy duty metal bolts that are already in the chair. All you got to do is just unscrew them, slide it in and screw them in. Probably one of the easiest chairs that I've ever put together definitely the most durable and definitely the most cool this thing has got some serious uh, cool appeal to it just the colors the looks the feel I mean the pillows I mean look at this who doesn't want to sit in this look at these head pillows look at these neck pillows and back pillows I mean the cushion and comfort in this I wish you guys could physically just see it and feel it for yourself but uh Anyway, if you guys are interested in picking one up for yourself, just go to dxracer.com. The one I picked up, you guys will see a tab on the side of the screen right there where it says Q-Series, F-Series. These are all the different styles of chairs they have. I chose the F-Series, which is designed for 8-plus hours of gaming and sitting in the chair. And I thought that would have been ideal for me. So there you guys go. There is the DX Racer f-series chair and my camera is not focusing i am getting another camera that will be in the next unboxing so there you guys go there is the lime green on black dx racer f-series chair for 349 dollars if you're interested head on over to dxracer.com and get yours today